Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in this video, I will show you how you can keep track of G Suite sending email IP addresses. Now your question might be, but why? So there are a couple of use cases uh, when you are using or relying on G Suite IP addresses. For example, the use case that I see very frequently is a use of outbound gateway. So let's say you are an enterprise customer you have invested in systems like Proofpoint or maybe Cisco Ironport and you want to treat it as your outbound gateway. So when G Suite first sends emails, it will come to your outbound gateway and then your outbound gateway will send those emails to the final recipients. But at your outbound gateway, to trust G Suite, you need to take G Suite IP addresses by doing some manual DNS queries and you need to insert them or whitelist them in your outbound gateway. But now let's say if there was a change in G Suite sending email IP addresses, maybe an addition of a site or like an IP address, and if that IP address is not yet there in your outbound gateway, you might face email delivery issues. It doesn't happen frequently, but I've seen it like a couple of times in past three to four years. So for that, I have created uh, a small Google Apps script and the way it works it it's going to track it automatically and will notify you in case if it detects any changes. Before I share my screen and show you how you can simply copy the script and uh, run it in your own environment, I wanted to help you understand how does that work behind the scene. So let's say if I need to track my weight, what I usually do is I weigh myself today morning. I keep a note of my weight today. Tomorrow morning, I'll weigh myself again and then compare it with yesterday's weight to see if there is any change, right? So we'll do the same thing. We will automate the DNS queries via app script so that for the first time, our script will call those DNS API and get the data back, which means a list of G Suite IP ranges. We will put that in a spreadsheet column. And next morning, we will call those APIs again to get a refresh data and so that we can compare it with yesterday's data. And we will keep on doing it every morning. And in case if there is a change, we can put the email address which will be notified as soon as there is change detected. So hope this helps with some sort of context. Now, if you are still interested, or maybe if you have that use case, let me share my screen and show you how you should copy that script and have it run in your own environment. And this will be an app script, and there might be, I would say, a couple of reasons I'm using app script. One, it is simple to use because it connects very well with Gmail to send emails. And then the second thing is, I do not need to invest in my own infrastructure. I don't need a virtual machine which keeps on running 24 into 7. I can just set it in app script and forget it. So it saves me time and money and energy. So I'll now share my screen and show you how it works. So the first step to this is to log into your Google account. Now this can be a Google account or your G Suite account, but you have to be logged in because to copy the script and run it in your environment, you need to authenticate to Google. So I have already logged in here. Second step is to go to a URL that's called iptracker.goldieaurora.com and when you click on that, it will take you a copying of the document page and when you click make a copy it will make a copy of my script sheet so I've just clicked on make a copy and as you see this has been copied and once it's copied it does not have any connection with me it all runs in your environment and then you will go to add-ons and maybe in a few seconds ideally you should see a new add-on which says IP tracker for G Suite Yep, it might take a few a few seconds. So now you will see this IP tracker for G Suite. This is the add-on. You will click on Setup Sheets first. As soon as you click on that, it will ask you to authorize because this is the first time you're running it and the script needs your permission. So select the account 
and then if you want you can just go into details and read the permissions that it will need essentially it's connecting to an external uh, service to call the DNS uh, queries and then it will read and write data to your uh, spreadsheet and then send email if there is any change if you're satisfied click allow and once you do that you will see that it the script has inserted G Suite IP tracker uh, spreadsheet and then here you will have G Suite IP addresses and here you will have IP addresses in your outbound gateways and then here you will have the difference detected and if there was a difference then it will send an email to this email address so here I will simply put let's say admin at id.goldero.com that's my email address but it's ideally you should be better putting the group email address if you have multiple G Suite admins responsible for the email okay so the first step is to get the G Suite IP addresses for the first time so that we can compare it tomorrow with this data so for that you will go to add-ons for the first time and then run this function called G Suite get G Suite IPs as soon as you click on that it will give you all the ciders in G Suite net blocks and it will put in this column okay now you will just take all of them copy that and put that in this outbound gateway column where you are kind of assuring yourself okay I've taken all of these IP addresses and I have uh, put them or whitelisted them in our outbound gateway and now onwards we want that every morning these two should be running automatically so that now this is what we have in our outbound gateway tomorrow morning we will get a fresh set of these G Suite IP addresses and we will then compare it with the ones that we have in our, in our outbound gateway and if there was a change detected that change should be here in this column and then it will send an email to this email address so I now have G Suite IP addresses I also have put them in our outbound gateway I've put my email address which should be notified in case if there are any changes let's go ahead and manually detect the difference and see how it works and then we will configure app script triggers to make them run automatically so to compute differences and compare these two columns I'll go to add-ons I'll click on compute differences which will trigger the script and as you see nothing happens because these two columns look absolutely same and if I go to my uh, this mailbox I do not get any specific email now intentionally just for the sake of uh, saying that it works fine let me copy this one and add maybe let's say one one thirty two okay so I have uh, manually did an addition and this is the range which is not there okay so I have added this one and now I will compute the difference to show you that it should detect the difference and send an email so if I click on compute difference it detected this addition and I really should have sent an email to this email address so if I go to my mailbox as you see I've just got an email which says change found in Google net blocks this is the change and for, for more information just click on your sheet okay so this is working fine now but so far it is manual we need to automate it and for that we will leverage Google Apps script trigger functionality and for that you will click on tools you will go to script editor and under script editor you will see all the script files we will just put a trigger on them so that every morning they run by themselves and as you see here are the uh, files let me sort them okay so and then you will click on trigger and by the way this menu file uh, makes uh, the menu of the add-on the sheet manager it will insert a sheet and then get net blocks will get the Google net blocks which I'm taking as a reference to make those DNS calls and then get G Suite IP that is the function which calls those net blocks and query them one by one and put the IP addresses in your sheet compute differences will compare both of your arrays to see if there are any differences and if there is one it will go ahead and send the email and feel free to change the email content here if you need to 
and then last one is I think it's about get GCP IP addresses in case if you have GCP use cases. Okay, so for that I'll just go to uh, this clock icon and click on that to create my triggers. So I will have two triggers here. The first trigger, I'll click on add trigger here. The first trigger should be to get G Suite IP addresses, right? And for that, our function is get G Suite IPs, okay? And we will have it uh, run uh, from our uh, spreadsheet, but that should be time driven. That should be our event source. So we will say that let's run this function every day and let's run it maybe 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. which means every morning between 5 to 6 a.m. the script will run and will give us a fresh set of G Suite IP addresses and let's say inform us immediately in case if the script faces any issues and save it okay now 5 to 6 we will have a new set of uh, G Suite IP addresses let's compare those new set of IP addresses with the function which is compute IP differences and again our source should be time driven and let's make it uh, day timer again and uh, let's run it that was 5 to 6 right so let's make it 6 to 7 and then say immediately notify us in case of any issues and save it. So essentially what's going to happen now is based on our triggers every morning between 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. script will run and will fill up this column okay and then this column which will be filled by you manually for the first time these two columns will be compared every morning between 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. In case if there was a change detected, that will be put in this column. And if there was a change, this email address, whether it's a user email or group email, should be notified. Now, one more thing make sure if there is a difference detected, you copy the difference from here, delete it, and add it in your outbound gateway to avoid script sending you uh, email every morning. So, I'll just delete the one that I edit by myself. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.